What's up guys, Inside97RCT bringing you another video for you guys and I hope you guys are doing well. I'm over here kind of chatting, uh, working on some stuff for you guys of course and this one is no different. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys a nice little front end emulation wise and um, something that I came up uh, out of the necessity of having this complementary, what I call complementary front end to my HyperPi. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not doing this out of any need because the HyperPi is, you know, bad or it's not working properly. On the contrary, this is the be all end all front end for me in my experience. And I've been working at this for a few months already, back to back, configuring and, and changing and customizing. And I can say without a doubt, HyperPi is my main. Uh, front end when it comes to playing all the classic and modern games all together on my PC. You know, that's the one that I recommend. However, <clears throat> the reason why I want to have this complementary uh, front end to begin with is more of a controller issue. See, with the HyperPi, I use basically the 360 or Xbox One controller, no problem. But when it comes to using this baby right here, which I love very much, you're going to be seeing some weird ass buttons there, but that's the whole green screen. Anyways, the point is that when it comes to using that bad boy, I have to change a lot of the configurations, messing up the ones that I had for the Xbox One controller, and I don't want that. I want to keep everything uniform so you know it's more of a plug and play thing. So, of course, this controller works super awesome for arcade games but not so much for the console greats. I mean, you can get away with playing some SNES games and you know, the older games and stuff like that in an arcade setup, but that doesn't translate very well with the more modern system, um, PS1, PS2, Wii, GameCube and stuff like that. So I was searching for one that would give me the arcade experience, plug and play nature, and be able to have, you know, standard, controller for arcade stick and I found that incredibly enough after a whole bunch of search because I tried a whole bunch of emulators and setups and front ends and some were good you know some were better than others but it didn't have that oomph however I found this one which is the coin ups variety or flavor of front ends now you can all get this from arcadepunks.com um, since I, I have, and I don't want to sound, you know, controversial or anything like that, but I really like the guys that, uh, the, the work that these guys are doing because they are from the UK, and I see that the UK embraces a lot more when it comes to the emulation scene and stuff, you know, going on. Uh, not that we don't get that in the States, but it's kind of like frowned upon more and there's like this whole moral stuff, gray area stuff that still permeates the whole emulation scene, unfortunately. And it's kind of ass backwards, but yeah. But that's a video for another another day. This one, this right here, the Coinups Arcadia. It's an awesome collection of arcade games. It does play consoles, and this one specifically has everything wrapped up in a very nice package. I'm gonna be showing you that uh, in the next few minutes here basically what it is is a front end that you launch and it's fully prepared custom built and configured you don't have to do a thing and I tried that believe me I tried messing around here and there and basically it it works it just works and works really well now this of course this started out this project as coin ups forgotten worlds for PC and this is from the user Britney's Pears. Don't ask me about the name. That's the username. And it's based off the Retro FE emulator. So yeah, and it has MAME of course integrated and it has all of these amazing the guy, I mean the guy props to him. The guy went through the trouble of even configuring these um bat files so you don't have to go through the trouble of opening and, and moving stuff around you just run those bat files depending on what you want and it's set up 
very very beautiful work and it came out recently so i i went ahead and i wanted to try it out and yeah i think we got a winner guys so let's go and check that uh so i can stop talking now because i'm kind of tired of talking now so yeah let's go check this all right, all right guys so we're gonna jump in here to the coin ops uh shortcut and go for it so I can show you guys briefly how this works out. This is basically what you encounter. Now, right now I'm using the uh, Xbox One controller, but this is already pre-configured to work with, you know, arcade sticks like the one that I, I love very much for fighters and stuff like that. And even though this is an uh, arcade style front end with arcade games, it does have consoles of different kind. It doesn't have whole collections and stuff like that, but it what is there is kind of like the best of the best now <clears throat> another thing that's pretty cool in this is that you have your favorites list of course but once you go into the the all you're gonna have you're gonna see on the right hand side there you're gonna see an alphabet with basically all of the games but if you go <clears throat> to the top part you're gonna see that there's uh, some configurations here that if you wish to activate or deactivate it's all up to you which is very convenient even though um, it doesn't have some of the other more advanced customizations that you find in hyperpie what's here is pretty awesome I mean and remember this is built for arcade cabinets so if you want to build an arcade cabinet you have kind of like a mid tier low tier PC and you want to throw into an arcade cabinet a real one you throw this in and it's going to work right off the bat it has everything to set up for that that being said you also have this one that I'm using is the vertical style but you can also choose from here without having to get out of the system and just go into and it automatically shuts off and turns back on with the horizontal view which is kind of more like uh, something like for HD TVs and stuff like that if you want to do it at home so yeah you have all of these here with the beautiful custom art and of course if you go into the game it's still gonna go back to the you know the perfect and the real uh, aspect ratio of it and it just works right off the gate. You have a button for credits, and you just start up. Now, I'm gonna be playing uh, most of these games uh, later on on a stream, or various streams, you know, depending if you want me to go through the whole library and stuff, but yeah, it just works, you know. Sound quality, video quality everything is set up you don't have to worry about a thing if you want scan lines you can you know have it on right now I have this effect on that makes it look like you're playing through a, a CRT monitor because I have that the little curves and the corners and stuff all of those things are toggleable. so yeah guys now you go back here course I prefer to be honest I prefer the the vertical style over the horizontal for some reason it feels more natural when it comes to the controls and stuff like that but that's just me I'm just glad that there's you know an option for that here you don't have to stick with one visual style and let me see what else can I say now I'm gonna do a rundown of course of every single game that's available on this thing on a separate video that's gonna be a separate recording but just to give you guys an idea you have from A to Z the best games for the arcade as you can see by scrolling down here one of my favorites there you have I, I would say all of the cave shooters are in here so shoot them up fans you're in for a treat but aside from let's say checking out the arcade games if you keep going up you're gonna find some other systems like model 3 
And you can tell by the little icon you're going to be seeing on the bottom part next to the wheel. You see there Model 3. So you got a few games. We even have Windows games in here. Ultra Street Fighter, Sonic Mania, Doom. You have on Wii. And so on and so forth. For the full rundown, I'll be doing that on a later uh, video, as I mentioned. It's a shame that it doesn't have the uh, a configuration where you can toggle, like with a press of a button, choose the systems and stuff. It maybe it is in there, but I don't know how to use it at least for now. And I checked online to see if I find any documentation. I can't find. But what's here has impressed me a lot. It feels very comfortable, and of course, for what I want it for, is for the arcade games. Having the consoles, uh, some of the consoles thrown in there is a bonus. I know it's meant to be a bonus, and I feel like it is a bonus, because in reality, what I want to play are the arcade games using my arcade controller, so in that regard... Oh, and here, a little shout out for Eric Classic Gamer, who I know loves Donkey Kong, so... As a final little bit of the video, let's see how it looks. Yep, we have it right here with a nice little... There you have it guys, Donkey Kong looking pretty good, again if you want to have scan lines to make it even more authentic you can do that as well, and yeah basically that's the, that's the rundown on that. There's basically, when you set up the all feature you can see in the bottom corner that it it's uh, up to 1042 games and compared to let's say what the HyperPie has which has over 130 something systems in there and uh, tons of game that it, it's too much for me to count at this point what this offers is very tightly packed and very neatly done so I hope you guys check it out if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.